This story is about a spy named Hercule, who has come to Jerusalem for a case where a very precious thing was stolen from the church, and the accusation was being put on three priests. Hercule now goes to the church where it was stolen. After doing all the investigation, he now comes in the middle of the people where the inspector who had called Hercule to Jerusalem to solve this case. All three priests were standing in front of everyone like criminals. Then Hercule comes and tells everyone that all three priests are innocent they did not steal because after stealing, the thief ran away from the roof and so his shoe marks were on the wall. These shoes have thick soles and none of these three priests wear such shoes if anyone wears such shoes, it is this inspector the inspector gets angry after hearing this from Hercule and says, I only called you here to solve this case if I had stolen, why would I have done this? In response Hercule says you will know the truth I have sent some of your people to search your house, just wait, they will come during their talks, the searcher comes and surprisingly, they also found that precious thing in the inspector's house. It was clear that the inspector was a thief. Thus, he is arrested and everyone present here are amazed at Hercule's intelligence that he solved this case very easily in a few hours. Because of his intelligence, Hercule had solved thousands of cases and now he was a famous detective in the world. He is about to leave Jerusalem that he gets an invitation from America to solve a special case. Hercule wanted to take a break from his work but this case was also necessary. In the meantime, he sits on a luxury train called Orient Express to go to London. There are only 12 compartments in this train, this is a business class train so only 12 to 13 people are going from Jerusalem to London through this train. In this train, a man named Rashet was also traveling. He gets a threatening note from the bathroom of his compartment which scared him. He goes to Hercule with this note because he knows Hercule to be a clever spy. Rashet shows this note to Hercule and says I know my life is in danger and I want you to take responsibility for my security if you agree to protect me then I will give you $15,000 for a week that used to be a lot of money in the old days. Despite such a large amount, Hercule denies Richard because he knew that Rashet was not a good person but he was a gangster. Now it's night, Hercule and Rashet's compartments were together at night, Hercule feels something in Rashet's cabin, he moves out and check, a train attendant was standing outside Rashet's compartment who asks Richard, are you okay? Upon hearing this voice from inside that yes, everything is fine the train attendant and Hercule both go to their place and start resting. Some time passes and Hercule again feels some noise from Rashet's room. He quickly comes out and sees that a girl in a red gown was running out of Rashet's room ignoring her, Hercule comes back to his room. The weather outside the train was awful meanwhile, this bad storm takes this train in its lap and as a result, the train gets off the track. Surprisingly, no one knew anything about such a big accident when they woke up in the morning, they found out that they were stuck here. Everyone was present at the train's launch and only Rashet was not there. Hercule sees that the waiter has been knocking Rashet's door for a long time but when there is no response from inside Hercule discovers that there is something wrong inside. He now starts trying to break the door of Rashet's compartment. Meanwhile, he asks the waiter to call a doctor and the manager of the train when the door opened, they were all shocked to see that Rashet had died. He was murdered and was stabbed in the stomach several times. The manager of the train gets scared because this murder happened on his train. He now implores Hercule to solve this case somehow, emphasizing that it is crucial for their company. Hercule had clearly refused to take his case because he knew that this man was a criminal but the manager, who was Hercule's friend, insists that he solve the case before the train reaches the next station. I don't want our company's name to be ruined because of this case despite not wanting, Hercule has to take this case. When he goes to Rashet's compartment to investigate, he finds unconscious medicine there. The first thing he finds out is that Rashet was killed unconscious that's why he didn't make any noise when he died and neither did he try to save himself. Here, Hercule finds an expensive handkerchief written H on it. Apart from this, Hercule finds strange evidence here which Hercule calls fake and says all these things have been kept here to distract the police. The only evidence that seemed true to him was a burnt piece of iron and when he placed it on the lantern, the message written on it becomes clear written, as a strong blood is in your hand, you will die, means the murder you attempted will result in your demise. After reading this, Hercule tells the train manager that this is not an easy case this murder is revenge for a murder and the case can be ruined. Here, Hercule tells the train manager the most regretful murder of Ratchet which he did to a little girl named Daisy Armstrong. Ratchet kidnapped that girl from her house and asked her for a lot of money but in spite of taking the money, he murdered her daughter. Armstrong's wife could not bear this shock and died in the sorrow of her daughter. Along with her, her other child also died before coming into this world the manager was surprised at how Hercule knew the story of this case. Hercule replies that Armstrong hired me for the investigation of this case but before I could reach him for help, he ended himself for the sake of his family and many such people lost their loved ones. They go back to the train where a passenger named Hubbard tells Hercule that the killer came to his room last night. 
She also told the train attendant about the killer's arrival but the train attendant did not believe her she gives a button to Hercule which was probably the killer's. Hercule recognizes the button as a train attendant's but there was only one train attendant on this train and when he saw his uniform, there were all the buttons on her shirt which means he could not be the killer. After this, Hercule starts investigating all the passengers of this train and reaches the princess's apartment he asks the princess that did you know a family named Armstrong? The princess replies that yes, I knew them, I was the godmother of Daisy Armstrong means she used to teach her about religion, and Daisy Armstrong was the same girl murdered by Ratchet. The princess asks what does Armstrong family have to do with this case? Hercule replies that the man who was murdered last night was responsible for Armstrong family's death. Hearing this, the princess relaxes and says thank god that man died, I hate him Hercule suspects the princess that maybe she ended Ratchet. He keeps a handkerchief in front of her which he got from Ratchet and asks the governess is this yours? The governess says no, this is too expensive and I cannot keep such an expensive handkerchief with me. Hercule thinks this handkerchief belongs to the governess because her name also started with H and H was written on this handkerchief while investigating, Hercule concludes that the murderer wore the clothes of the attendant maybe he hid those clothes in his luggage that's why he checks all the passengers, luggage. As a result, he does not get anything from anyone but he gets the red gown from his luggage in which he saw a girl running away from Ratchet's room. Hercule starts laughing and says whoever the killer is, he is very clever. He is making fun of me along with making this murder and incident cleverly. Afterward, the people check the princess's governess's luggage and find the attendant's uniform. The funny thing was that there was no button on this coat the doubt was going to the governess but Hercule says no, the governess isn't the killer because if she had done this, she would never have hidden this coat in her luggage they now smell the coat, and from it, the scent of alcohol emanates. Now the train manager knew that the alcohol was only taken by Ratchet's accountant on this train, they go to him for investigation seeing himself in danger, that accountant tries to escape from here but Hercule catches him and tries to investigate him but here, the accountant says I did not kill Richard look, I admit that I am not an honest person, I used to steal his money but think yourself, why would I kill the person who used to work for me like a gold laying hen? Means I used to get a lot of benefit from his money. There was a point in what he was saying. Hercule gets worried that whoever he doubts, finally, he comes out innocent after this, Hercule comes to the doctor who was going through this train to London he says to the doctor you are the only one on this train who smokes and I got this cigar cleaner from Ratchet's room. The doctor says I am a doctor, I work to save people not to kill after this, Hercule asks the doctor I have seen few people becoming doctors at this time like you are you very special. This was the time, when Africans were not given much facilities the British considered them smaller and inferior to them and in this regard, the doctor says I was a sharpshooter in the army I saved many officers and they helped me in completing my studies as a reward. Now Hercule asks him if you were in the army, did you know Colonel Armstrong? But the doctor refuses to know such a person here, Hercule comes again to Ratchet's accountant and asks do you know anything about Colonel Armstrong or his family? In response, the accountant says yes, I know Colonel Armstrong was a very good friend of my dad his case was fought by my dad when he died but unfortunately, he could not convict anyone. There was a lot of pressure on him to solve this case in such a situation, he blamed Armstrong's family maid for the murder the lady was overcome with shock at this false accusation. By the time it was found out that Rashet was behind all these murders but that girl had died, and my dad ended his life in regret. The accountant was trapped after telling this story. Hercule immediately proves him criminal and says see, I told you that you have committed the murder and the smell of your alcohol is coming from that coat. To avenge your father's death, first you became Rashet's accountant you took his money, robbed him and then killed him. He was saying this when suddenly he heard someone screaming it was Hubbard's voice and the killer came to her room before. Going there, they see that someone stabbed Hubbard's shoulder. The doctor took the knife out of his shoulder. Hercule gets upset with this incident because he thought that the accountant is killer but the killer was not the accountant but the same person who attacked Hubbard who is this person. Hercule had to find out but where Hercule thought the case was solved, it had actually become more complicated. Well, Hercule starts investigation again in this investigation, he starts interrogating all the people and comes to a couple's room in which the girl changed her name on her passport, Hercule recognizes that there was an H written in front of her name means her name was Helena and she removes H and conversed it into Helena. Hercule asks, why did you do this? She responds, because you found a handkerchief with the initial, H, so my husband and I didn't want to be under suspicion that's why we removed H from the passport. On this, Hercule suspects that maybe this couple is involved in murder and Hubbard's attack. While investigating, Hercule finds out that Daisy Armstrong was Helena's sister's daughter. Hercule was more certain that she might have been seeking revenge for her sister and her family's murder by killing Ratchet. Anyways, Hercule starts investigating and meets a grill woe was Daisy's nurse and finds out that due to her carelessness, Richard was able to kidnap Daisy Armstrong. Hercule says I know you ended Rashet for talking revenge for this, during this, suddenly, someone shoots him from behind. 
The bullet touched his shoulder. It was the doctor who shot and says to Hercule stop this investigation. I killed him because Rashad was my biggest enemy and he killed my beloved friend Colonel Armstrong who supported me when none liked us. A merciless man like Rashad ended his family and I ended him in this anger. They were talking meanwhile. They felt a jerk in the train. It was found that the train that was off track due to the storm is now again on the track. It is ready to move further but before the train starts, Hercule arranges a meeting of all the passengers he says I know none of you is killer even the doctor who is confessing this isn't the killer but the murder mystery is still unsolved and I am just getting two stories behind this murder. One is that the killer came to Rashet's room wearing attendance clothes and killed Rashet then he escaped from the cabin window of Mrs. Hubbard because his button was found there. If I talk about the other story, even I am not believing this story because I don't believe any of you is the killer, but my suspicions and evidence are against all of you. I think you all together have done this murder and you all have a reason for doing this. The doctor became a doctor because of Colonel Armstrong, and his life improved as a result. He is even confessing that he killed Rashad to take revenge of his friend but I don't think that he is the killer. The second is Daisy's nurse who was drunk that night and due to her carelessness, Rachet was able to kidnap Daisy, and she could have killed Rachet out of revenge for her past regret. The third on the list is Helena whose sister and daughter died because of race at the fourth is the princess who was Daisy's godmother and taught her religion and loved her a lot. Then Mrs. Hubbard whose shoulder was attacked by the killer, she was the grandmom of Daisy. The train manager becomes furious hearing this from Hercule and says if she is the killer then who attacked her Hercules says, you didn't understand, they're all connected. Look at that accountant, he wanted to avenge his father. The man and the attendant, both belong to the girl's family who was accused of murdering Armstrong's family and he wants to avenge his sister's death. This police officer and the man sitting with him, Colonel Armstrong was their good friend and because of the bank loan, they started their big businesses. Armstrong's death had an impact on all their lives and all of them killed Rashet together. Hearing this, Mrs. Hubbard stands here and says yes, we all did it together but it's not everyone's fault. It's just my fault, all this planning was mine. She says, I've been making this plan for many years. I sent the accountant to Rashet for a job according to my plan so that one day he will be forced to travel with us where we kill him. We put this attendance duty on our train. Everything happened according to our plan and that's how we killed Rashet. To distract you from this murder, we spread the evidence here and there. I even got myself stabbed. The doctor stabbed me in such a place where I didn't get much hurt and this knife was killed so that you feel that the killer has run away after murdering but you kept investigating this murder. Hercule gets sad after hearing all this because he knows that Richard wasn't a good person they didn't do anything wrong by killing him. Hercule now puts his gun on the table and starts walking. On his way, he says, I can't lie, if anyone asks me about this murder, I'll have to tell the truth and it's better that you kill me here. Everyone was sad. Daisy Armstrong's grandmother quickly picks up the gun. Hercule was moving forward. She points the gun at Hercule but she can't kill Hercule and now she puts the gun on her neck and shoots but it turns out that she didn't have the bullets and Hercule had already taken out. He was merely testing these people to see if they dared to end someone. All of them had passed his test, they were all innocent and just took their revenge so now Hercule decides to save them all. The journey starts again, Hercule says, whatever you did was right. I'll get off at the next station and tell the police that a stranger came into Rashet's room in the attendant's clothes. He killed Rashet and then he ran away from Mrs. Hubbard's cabin window. At this time, we see respect for Hercule in everyone's eyes. Everyone was impressed with Hercule's intelligence that he had solved such a difficult murder mystery in just a few days. Hercule now says goodbye to everyone and gets off at the next station he had to give the details of this murder to the police and has to end this case right here.